Hi, I'm Marla Shoemaker. I'm head of education at the museum. Um, and as part of my job, I think a lot about how people and works of art can connect. And I think the Picasso and the Avant-Garde in Paris show is a fabulous show to make that happen. But one thing all these artists are experimenting, they're inventing modernism while you watch. They don't even know sometimes when they start these pictures how they're going to wind up. Um, they're excited to be in Paris. They're coming from all over the world. This painting is by Juan Gris, who's a Spaniard, who's arrived in Paris, wants to see what Brock and Picasso are up to. And together, and playing off of each other throughout the exhibition, they really invent a new way for all of us to think about art, which becomes what we call modern art. Um, let's look at this picture in particular. Juan Gris is painting really a view right outside his window. He lived in the Place Ravignon, which is where lots of the artists lived. And that's, in fact, the title of the painting. Um, and really, most of these gentlemen are painting what they see when you look around. Um, if you start at the top, you see trees, leaves on trees. You see trunks of trees. And then if you look through the trees, you can see the shutters on the windows across the street, some of which are open and some of which are closed. As you come down further on that side, I see at least another window with uh, orange and gray curtain waving in it. Further down, I see a balcony. I see another balcony over here and even a street lamp across the street. These guys, including Wang Ri, were really painting what they see. But in the center of the picture, it's a big jumble for us. They're really doing something new. They're experimenting with form. It's still ordinary things. This word, Le Journal, is, was the name of the newspaper in Paris, so it's probably the newspaper. This is a bottle and a cup. Many of these artists didn't have very much money, so they're painting really ordinary things. One fun game to play with your children is to look at all these cubist paintings and see if you can't tell what the ordinary things are in them, and then you can talk together about what changed. I hope that sometime during the exhibition, if you bring your children, your kids say, Mom or Dad, I really don't, I can't figure this one out. If that happens, take a deep breath and say, me neither. Let's look at it together. In looking at art together, wonderful things come up in conversations, things you can't predict, just like these artists couldn't predict where their art was going to go. I bet you won't be able to predict where your conversations with your kids will go when you look at these. So please come uh, and enjoy yourselves.